And today I am here with a another review video. This time it is for Chevy Stevens' Never Let You Go. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's a psychological thriller and I am obsessed with it. This book follows Lindsay Nash who 11 years ago ran away from her abusive husband with her daughter Sophie. Her ex-husband is now out of jail and Lindsay is absolutely terrified. After a break-in at her house, Lindsay is convinced that Andrew is back to haunt her. The only thing is, is that Andrew claims that he has changed but Lindsay is not convinced and she is pretty sure that he will not stop until she's dead. I did not see this book coming. It was on my most anticipated reads when it first came out and I was like super excited when my mom bought it for me because I was like, heck yes, I know I'm gonna love this book, but I did not think I would love it as much as I did. The book is so action-packed and it keeps you on the edge of your seat right from the first chapter. A lot of the twists and turns I did not see coming at all. There were some predictable ones, obviously, as there are in every book. The major twist I did not see coming. The book literally leads you one way the entire time. And then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> bam Fooled ya. There's like so many mind games in this book that makes you second guess everything that you thought was true. I had this like one track mind the entire time I was like this is obviously how it's gonna play out like this is so annoying I hate when I can call books but as you go on you're just like wait what wait what wait what and then it just slaps you in the face and you're just you're just mind blown like it was such an unexpected twist I just I can't like I can't put my feelings into words about how much this book fucked with my head the book was very fast paced and it also had parts where it was slower which was like a really good balance between the entire thing the writing style was very simple but it flowed so nicely throughout the entire thing that it didn't seem too simplistic it was like the perfect balance of suspense and chill all in one if that makes any sense the book is told from alternating perspectives so it's Lindsay and sophie but it's also told from past and present, which was a really cool aspect because you got to see into the life of Lindsay before Andrew became possessive and, like, abusive. And it was really interesting to see, like, how she fell for his charm and then how it, like, slowly changed throughout her life with him. It was really easy to tell between the two timelines and the two distinct voices. It was obvious when Sophie was talking, it was obvious when Lindsay was talking, and it was obvious when it was past verse now. I also really liked that the book was set in Canada. Be because hello, I'm Canadian and, like, I never find books that are set in Canada, so it was really cool that I was set in Vancouver and I was like, hey, I know where those places are. The other great thing about this book was all the characters were relatable and they seemed like real people. A lot of the time in thriller books, I find that, like, the actions that the people take are, like, totally unrealistic. Like, half the time you're like, oh, you hear a strange sound? Yeah, let's go towards the strange sound. Like, no. In this book, the things that the characters were doing... I feel like I would have done in their situation as well. It was really nice to see how every character had their own flaws, so no character was perfect. Lindsay was not perfect, she was struggling with this Andrew thing, but also trying to raise her daughter as a single mother. Andrew was obviously flawed, like I mean, he was an abusive husband, he had his issues. Sophie was going through a relationship for the first time, so you got to see her struggle with that, which was really relatable for me because like... Hello, I used to be a teenager. I, I have been in relationships, so I know what my first relationship was like. It was interesting to see the like parallels of her life and my life, you know? Relatable. I liked it. I really liked how all of the actions that the characters took were things that like real people would do in their situation. It wasn't like super far-fetched or like thrown in there to make the plot progress. Like, everything had a purpose, which I really enjoyed. I also really liked watching the characters develop as the story goes on. You really saw Sophie, like, mature as the story progressed. You really saw Lindsay start to understand where Sophie was coming from when she wanted to meet with Andrew and, like, you know, know her father. I really liked the relationship between Sophie and Lindsay, the mother-daughter thing. 
it was very relatable because when I was in my first relationship, everything was about him and like, I grew apart from my mom, which is what happens with Lindsay and Sophie, but in the end they come back together and everything is a-okay, which is how my relationship worked out too, and me and my mom have never been closer, so like, I really liked seeing that. Honestly, that's probably one of the other reasons why I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars, because I just found the whole thing so relatable. Obviously not the abusive family part, because like, my family is very loving and I'm very fortunate for that, but the whole like, aside from the abusive part. There was also a dog, so like, you can't go wrong with a dog, I'm just saying. Like, he was so fluffy and adorable and his name was Angus and like, <laughs> my heart. But overall, like, amazing thriller. I did not see the ending coming. I did not see that plot twist coming. I did not see half of the plot twist coming. Which, you know, if you've been on this channel for a while, your girl hates being able to call the ending of books and could not have called this in a million years. So, highly recommend this as a psychological thriller. Five out of five stars. Like, y'all need to read this book ASAP and, like, I need to find more Chevy Steven books because, like, obsessed with her writing now. Alright guys, so that was my super rambly video review of Never Let You Go by Chevy Stevens. Let me know down below if you've read the book. I highly recommend that, like, you do go find this book because it was hecka good. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!